Hi guys, and welcome back to CP's Kitchen. On the menu today, I have Jamaican jerk chicken. Now, um, this comes by a request from two of my YouTube subscribers, one requesting a cultural dish and the other actually requesting uh, Jamaican jerk chicken. So, um, a little bit about jerk briefly. It's basically just the seasoning. That's what it's about. Um, jerk is uh, a little heat. That heat comes from a very hot pepper, a habanero, a scotch bonnet. In this case, I have a scotch bonnet. Uh, very, very high in heat. So it is important that you balance it out with the other spices that the jerk seasoning is known for, such as pimentos, which is allspice, cinnamon, nutmeg, uh, herbs like thyme and dried oregano, uh, brown sugar. These ingredients go in the jerk marinade to make the jerk chicken. The scotch bonnet is the heat that uh, brings it. So um, I'm going to prepare today in hopes that you will uh, try it at home. All right, let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to clean that chicken and we're going to clean it with a little vinegar and salt water. So I add some kosher salt in here. Turn on my water. And let's get to cleaning this chicken. So this is about um, eight, eight um, chicken half, chicken quarter should I say, a leg in the thigh. And we're going to kind of clean it and get off some of this excess fat. And you just kind of want to get it all in here. And once you get finished kind of scrubbing it, you're going to let it sit in this vinegar and salt water. But you want to make sure to cut some of this excess fat like this. You don't want all of that, but you want a sharp knife where you can cut all of that off. You do want to leave the fat on because that will help during the cooking process to keep it from um, get drying out. But you don't need all this particular excess fat. So you basically just kind of clean the chicken really, really good. Get up under the skin. Let that vinegar and salt water. I'm going to finish cutting off this fat. And uh, you get the idea. You just kind of make sure that we clean it real good. Alright, so when I get finished cleaning this, I'll be back and I'll show you what the next step is. Okay guys, I'm back and what I have here is all of the ingredients for jerk chicken and it's quite a few ingredients. I'm going to say somewhere around 12. So what I'm going to do as opposed to naming all of these, I'm going to put it up on the screen so that you can see it. I'm going to add them and when we come back, it'll be all mixed up in the blender. All right. Okay, I hope you can see that. All right, so we're going to have my gloves now. The scotch bonnet pepper is extremely hot and um, you don't want to get it anywhere on your skin. It could irritate your skin. So we're going to pour the Jamaican jerk seasoning that I just made from scratch onto the chicken. Okay, and what I did too is I scored the chicken. And the reason why I scored it is so that when I massage all of this nice seasoning in, it will get into the chicken as well. So all you really do at this point is kind of massage this Jamaican jerk sauce 
that I've made from scratch that has onions, green onions, regular onions, ginger. Mmm. I mean, I can't even name them, man. It's nutmeg, cinnamon. Oh, my goodness. There's a lot of flavor in here, a lot of spices. So, we're just going to make sure that it gets in there. We're just going to massage it real good. And this will sit. Now, you can marinate this for a couple of hours, but it really won't take. The seasoning won't have time to marinate into the chicken. So, the suggestion is that you let it marinate for five hours or even better overnight we're going to do this overnight and i will be preparing this on tomorrow so i'm going to put this in the refrigerator i'm going to put this over uh, cover it with some uh, handy wrap and uh and let this marinate overnight jamaican jerk chicken I'm also going to prepare tomorrow plantains. If you've never had those, you'll have the opportunity to see how those are prepared. They look like bananas and they taste really, really good. I've had them before, not often, but they do taste good. And uh, if I have time, I'm going to try and make a mango salsa to kind of offset this heat. But uh, hopefully I put just enough to where it will be very flavorful and you will only get that heat on the back of your throat. So if I put the right amount in, it should um, yield the desired result. Okay? All right. So I am going to take my gloves off, cover this with handy wrap, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Jamaican jerk chicken and let it cook the rest of the way. Turn it aside back on. And we're going to grill these skin side down first. And I'm wearing my gloves as you can see because this Jamaican jerk is very hot. Very hot. And we can't allow it to irritate your skin. So I'm going to be able to get five of these on. And I'm just going to let them get some grill marks just to get a little dark before we put them in the oven. Okay? Okay, so I grilled this on both sides for about four minutes on each side. I didn't want to cook it all the way because it's going to cook the rest of the way in the oven, but I did want to get the grill marks that you see here. And um, I'm going to take a little bit of that marinade now and I'm just going to baste it because we want to keep it jerk. And I'm going to put this in a 450 degree oven for about 20 to 25 minutes before I take it and flip it. It has to be turned and then turned again after another 20 to 25 minutes and it should come out looking really, really good. All right. Okay, it's been 25 minutes. Look at that chicken, it's time to turn. I'm gonna turn it over. We want it to be crispy and tasty and you take the brush and we get some of that jerk marinade and we put it on this side Ooh, my hair is falling Okay, so we're going to put that back in now for another 15-20 minutes. And we got some Jamaica jerk chicken, Mom.
Okay, while the chicken is in the oven, uh, what I'm also going to prepare today are plantains. Um, some cultures pronounce it as plantain, but it is spelled P-L-A-N-T-A-I-N-S. Plantains is the way we pronounce it. They look like a banana. They're sweet like a banana. But when you get them at this stage, they're at their most ripest, unlike a banana. They're believed to have originated from Southeast Asia. They are grown in Africa, India, Egypt, and Tropical America. This fruit is also eaten by Caribbeans and most of South America. This particular fruit is a little starchy, uh, unlike the banana. It has less sugar in it, but it is very sweet at this stage. Uh, you generally have to cook this particular uh, fruit before eating, and it can be substituted with rice or potatoes. So the way we open a plantain is we have to cut off the ends, and we take our knife and we just kind of slit it down the, the middle. And as you can see, it looks just like a banana. And you take your thumb and you kind of open it up. And this is what it looks like. And believe it or not, this is the good part, people. This is what we want to eat. Where's my garbage ball? This is what we want to eat. Okay, and so we're going to also slice it on the bias because uh, it looks cute. And you usually fry these up and they're going to be kind of crispy on the outside and nice and moist when you bite into it. So I'm going to show you one more time. We cut off the ends. And they also come in different colors. Um, the greener the plantain is, the less sweet it is. The more yellow, it's more sweeter, and then the darker, most, most black, it's at its sweetest. So we got some pretty sweet plantains here today that I'm gonna fry up. And you don't fry them long, maybe, I'm gonna say about, uh, total cook time should be three to four minutes. We're gonna go over, there's my timer. We need to check the chicken. All right, let's come over here, cameraman, slowly and check the chicken. So this should be the last time that it gets split. Oh, looky, looky, looky. That's what we're talking about, people. That's what we're talking about. Jamaican jerk, mom. That's what we wanted, Jamaica jerk. Yes, oh, sticking a little bit. Oh, but look at how delicious that looks. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, indeed, and it's caramelized. That's from that brown sugar. Now we're gonna baste it one more time. And I don't even think this needs to last any longer than about uh, five more minutes. Yes, indeed, Jamaica jerk chicken, mom. Right here in CP's kitchen. Okay, we put the chicken back in for the last turn and we are now gonna place the plantains in some cooking oil. You can use peanut oil, olive oil. Right here I have a little canola oil. And we're gonna put these plantains in and let them fry up and they should be Crispy on the outside and tender on the inside. Don't cook them too long, because they will burn on you. You can pile them in the, in the skillet if you like. But we want them to have room to crisp up. And we 
just let those cook about three or four minutes on this side and we're going to flip them and let them cook about two or three minutes on the other side and they're done. All right, and we'll be back. Okay, these are how the plantains look when they're done. Look at them. They are beautiful, golden brown. We're going to take them out now. Ooh, looky, looky. And they're going to be soft on the inside, nice and sweet, because we got the darker ones, like I explained. The darker ones are always the sweeter ones. You can also make fritters. I'm going to do another um, episode with plantains, and I'm going to make plantain fritters so look out for that video all right that's it there's nothing else left to do now but to taste the jerk chicken thanks for watching okay we just plated it up I got my plantains I made some salsa earlier that's gonna be a different episode people but my mango salsa consists of fresh mangoes fresh cilantro fresh red bell pepper red onions, green onions, and some jalapeno pepper. So let's taste this jerk chicken. It's looking pretty good. Mmm. Those flavors, that allspice. Mmm. Very good. Let's try plantain. Let me cut it for you. See in the middle? It looks a little mushy. It's crunchy on the outside. And it has a little sweetness. Mmm. I'm gonna tell you, I like heat. I don't taste a lot of heat. But um, I didn't want to overdo it because the person that I really made this for likes the, the flavor of the jerk chicken and not too much heat, so it's just right. All right? Mm. Now the purpose of the salsa was to offset any heat from the jerk chicken, but I could really taste those spices. Really, really good. So I hope you try it in your home. It really was good in my kitchen. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Please subscribe, like, and follow. Bye-bye for now.